the role of women in violent extremism extends beyond being perpetrators. The role of gender in preventing and countering violent extremism is increasingly coming under the spotlight. The police is looked at as a male, male job. Women have not been empowered to be at the forefront of fighting terrorism. There is a limited number of female police officers joining force and yet the cases of gender are very many. For the case of Uganda, we have got about 30% intake of female officers. They need to be trained and they need to be empowered to make sure that they handle uh, the gender-related issues. Africa faces multiple challenges in understanding gender and terrorism, from dealing with perpetrators and in preventing and countering terror. War against terror in Kenya, you know, it's most of our cases along our border. We have sensitization programs so that we sensitize our women to guard against entering into this marriage where they don't know the background. Women, uh, they, they are the mothers and when their children or their husbands join terrorist, terrorist groups, they are really, really affected. They also try to recruit our ladies, uh, promising good uh, prospects in the future. Some of them will fall into the trap. As perpetrators, uh, supporters, facilitators, uh, and, and even um, providing intelligence to the terrorist groups. The lack of adequate knowledge to understand these cases properly. Getting that credible intelligence from the various uh, sources and uh, analyzing it before we can uh, be able to share it. So I, I can say that there is a bit of lack of uh, training in the East African region on how women are being involved in terrorism. In conjunction with the Eastern Africa Police Chiefs Cooperation Organization and Interpol's Regional Bureau for Eastern Africa, the Institute for Security Studies has hosted various capacity building workshops. In June 2019, the IAPCO Gender Training Workshop brought together high-ranking police officials in Kenya including Kenya's Inspector General of Police, to empower law enforcement with a wide range of knowledge relating to gender equality, the involvement of women in terrorism, countering terrorism, transnational organized crime, and effective responses to these issues in the region. Uh, we are benefiting a lot from uh, the ISIS partnership with the APCO, and in particular, even us as a country, where we have gone in many programs in capacity building on counter-terrorism and gender. ISS partnership has really empowered me um, in terms of uh, supporting me and this is more in, 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 in training and even supporting during operations when we are carrying out operations. They, they also involve us in workshops where uh, research findings are disseminated and we are involved uh, in, in, in commending on those research. We are partnering in matters of uh, capacity development, just like we are doing here on matters of gender uh, and women participation in terrorism. And um, I think we will go far. We will do quite a lot with them uh, in those areas. The ISS partnership with Eastern Africa Police Chiefs Cooperation Organization and Interpol's Regional Bureau for Eastern Africa is a key focus in building capacity to counter threats to security across the region. For more ISS insights and analysis on gender and terrorism related issues, visit the ISS website, issafrica.org. <laughs>